Updating the contact information in your SSS records allows you to receive not only a paren every quarter, but also notifications and reminders from the SSS. This helps you pay your contributions on time, so you can quickly avail of an SSS benefit or loan when you need it. You have three options for updating your contact details. My SSS portal, SSS mobile app, or over the counter at any SSS branch. How to update your contact information via my SSS. Go Tosses member portal, answer the CAPTCHA question, and then click submit. You have three portals to choose from. Select member, log into your my SSS account, hover your cursor over the member info, click the submit button. How to update your contact information via the SSS mobile app. Log into your My SSS account. Tap the My Information icon Update Information Contact Details. Edit your landline number. Mobile. How to update your contact information at an SSS branch. Fill out the Member Data Change Request for me 4 with your updated info. Put a check mark on the box next to updating of contact information. Submit your accomplished for me 4 to any SSS branch. Or write down your new contact details when applying for a benefit, loan, or any other SSS program. Always check if your records are correct and updated. You may be paying your contributions regularly and on time, but it doesn't guarantee that you'll get your benefits with no hassle members with. Therefore, it's imperative that you submit the required forms and documents to change incorrect details in your personal data while you're still not availing of any benefits. For example, a discrepant. Example, a discrepancy in your date of birth may cause a significant delay in processing your pension as age is an important qualifying condition for retirement. Pay your contribution during off-peak periods. Expect to stand in long lines in an SSS branch on weekdays during lunch break, especially on the last day of the month when contribution payments are due. To avoid wasting time in long lines, pay contribution on an early weekday morning when fewer people are transacting and you're likely to be among the first in line. If you plan to avail of an SSS benefit or loan soon, it's better to pay your contribution at an SSS branch since it will go directly to the system and will be processed faster. Your contribution may choose your payment channel wisely. If you plan to avail of an SSS benefit or loan soon, it's better to pay your contribution at an SSS branch since it will go directly to the system and will be proc. Banks are not faring any better. Lines are perpetually long in major banks like Bipit any time of the day. Try your luck at a smaller bank like Security Bank where lines are usually short or none. All, though you can pay only if you have a bank account there. Lines are shorter at non-bank collecting partners, but posting can take longer. Choose this payment channel if you're trying to save. Always keep your payment receipts dot in case your paid contribution isn't posted online. It helps to have your validated receipts ready to show proof of payment to the SSS and have the error corrected.